Hello, everybody. I'm Ian Gibson. It's Thursday night. It's 9 p.m. Eastern. Is that the right time zone, Will? Uh, 8 p.m. Connecticut. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. That's an hour ago. So thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for us here at Subpixel. Will, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at uh, the real Donald Trump. Oh, it, why does that sound so familiar? Wasn't that a fake Twitter for a while? Probably. What is his actual Twitter? Is it just Donald J. Trump? I man, I don't even know anymore. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that was a great bit, <laughs> folks. We're gonna be playing something great today. We're playing. <gasps> Look at that. We're playing Star Wars. Let me zoom in on the logo here. Star Wars Ar Armada? Armada. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Uh, it's at real Donald Trump. That is his Twitter. It's Star Wars Armada. <laughs> Armada. <laughs> Armada. Armada. Uh, so this is basically, it's like a, it's like a Star Wars miniatures game. Uh, based in around the ships it's kind of a spin-off i don't know what you call it a sp yeah i would call it a spin-off of x-wing x-wing is more about the individual smaller squadron sized ships this is more about the frigate capital ships etc um i'm pretty excited for this will are you excited i'm i'm as excited as one could be awesome i just you know i kind of just want to uh grip it and rip it let's get it going um so let me show you something. This is Tabletop Simulator. Um, so the reason why I chose this game is, number one, I've wanted to play it. Number two, it's ridiculously expensive in real life. It's $100 for the base game. And you know it's a miniatures game when everybody's running hugely customized, painted armies, etc., that are several hundred dollars to build on your own. Um, so it's a perfect game for digital recreation. And um, number three, it just looks like fun. It's good. It's a good time. So you know there's another board over here. Yeah. Who cares? That's cool. Okay. All right. So well, I'm going to show you how to do this. This is heavily Go scripted, on. which is awesome. So each of these ships are currently locked down, so you can't move them. So um, on your squadron ships, how to move them is you're going to click the move button, and then you get to drag them to the extent of the range wherever you want to nice. go within there. I like. Okay. That. And then if you place it, measuring. Yeah, you can hit undo. To send it back and then you just hit done when you're done and then you can do um, a plus or minus on their health points and then this tab blue means uh, this person has yet to go red means they've already gone this turn copy you it's a nice and easy way and then attack is just showing the range basically and then you can roll attack die for that range I'm gonna kill you, so let's get let's get moving. Well, just a little bit. Um, we have to talk about the capital ships. So the capital ships is very similar, but you hit the M to pop the maneuver tool. Uh, so once you pop the maneuver tool, then you can hit plus to add segments. You, you got to stop clicking. Oh, is it affecting you? Yeah, it's taking mine. Stop clicking. Oh, sorry. I'm yeah, done. Just, no, just come look at what I'm doing because I'm I'm showing the stream. Okay. So you hit M, you do minus and add segments. So that's like, that's a speed of one, that's a speed of two. And then these arrows determine how much you're turning. So if you yeah. look real quick at your ship in the bottom left of your ship card, um, it'll say one, two, three, four. So for example, my one says for my one, when I move one, I can turn one angle. And on my second one, but if I'm moving speed two, then I can only go straight and then I can move, um, I can turn on my second one. Yeah. So basically the turning is called yaw and the going forward is called speed. And then you can hit move. So if I do this, I hit move, automatically moves the ship. And then I can hit done or I can do undo. I'm going to undo it though. Sweet. Um, one more thing is, actually two more things. R shows your range. So you can see it's split. There are four zones that you can fire from, and then there's three ranges for each. So that is showing that. That's the big R. And then the C is for command tokens. So command tokens are how you give orders. So if you look, um, 
you'll have to go look at yours real quick. You can't see anything in this box, but if you go look at your green box, you'll see four tokens. So yeah. the, the tokens, normally you would spin them in the real world, but with this one, you just pull one of them. So for example, if I wanted to give a repair command, I would drag it. I would drag it onto the ship. It's kind of weird, but you drag it onto the base. And then if you click the C button, it will tell you the order of commands in your chat window. So I don't know if that's gotcha. going to, it probably will work for you. So that's how you give commands and then you can secretly look at the command order. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, thanks team Higgins. Uh, we're glad you could show up for the stream. Thanks, team. You showed up just in time. We're about to kick it off. So kick, kick it. Will you read the rules, right? I did. I mm -hmm. read the rules. I think I think we understand it just barely enough to get started. So, I I do have these rule references on the side. So let me see if I can put. These are super handy. Yeah. So I'm going to turn to the back page on this one, which I believe has, like a, a rules reference. Oh no, it's not that one. It's this one. Okay, quick reference. So first of all, players simultaneously choose and assign face down command dials to their ships okay so the number of command dials you can do is your command value so for example my star destroyer has a command value of three so i need to assign it three commands that makes sense right so you have two and he has one yeah um so we do that simultaneously just to let you know your starting speed is the dial underneath your card your ship card and it's currently at two that's just where you start at. So I grab this and drag it over, correct? Yes. Um, and then there's, you know what? Let me look at something real quick. I think there's some rule about mm -hmm. commands, like you can't double up or something. I just place this on the card? Yeah, if you place it, 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 it doesn't stick very well, but I think as long as it's close enough, it should be fine. Okay. And then, oh, what did you say to make myself see it? Uh, yeah, if you hit, hit C, C on the card, it should tell you in chat. Oh, it just told me in chat. Oh, it does not tell me. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let me try and change the owner. Let me look that up real quick. Well, now you know one of my secret moves. Did you um? Did you figure out how to spawn? Did you look up how to spawn um, ships? Do you know how to do that in this? Uh, it said it over here, right? The mm -hmm. right-click card and change description to spawn. Yeah. So try respawning the ship from you. I'm gonna delete this. Delete. Oops. Delete, delete, delete. Worst case, we can pull them out of the bag. Well, I can, or you would pull them out of the bag. Oh, I flipped my thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now you're good. So just move it. It's one on either side, and then just... You'll have to press L. Actually, once you hit the shields button, it'll lock it down. How do I rotate? Uh, Q and E. Ah. Whoa. Oh, this is... Okay. Oh, come on. It won't... You want me to... I think I can tell uh, it's snapping. Oh, it, it literally just did it. That was weird. Oh. No. Okay, I turned on rotate snap, I think. Maybe not. For some reason, when I picked it up, it straightened Why itself. Why are you... There we go. <laughs> it's weird. You're rotating so quickly, but mine, mine rotates slowly. Anyways, I'm going to assign my command tokens. Uh, you made me spawn both mine? Yeah. Yeah, you got to spawn both of them. And that way, they should belong to you. Oh, I see. Did it just... Oh, it doubled up all my token. Yeah, because it spawns the tokens with it. 
Don't worry, folks. We're we're getting there. That part of this is this is a great way to play complicated games, but it you also like have to mess with it a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm a stupid man. You. I yeah, started you... my ship sideways. Uh, I can move it for you. I just. I, it won't like. Yeah, I know you're rotating really fast. I don't know why. Well, my, yeah, my rotate uh, goes to 90, or uh, goes to 45. But not. Oh, okay. Not um, like facing this way. I think you're gonna have to res. Actually, let me try something. I can respawn it again. Wait. Oh, I did it. We're good. Okay, all good. <sighs> okay, so assign your command tokens. Copy. Oh, my command tokens actually went into place now. <laughs> okay, and then... Except one of them is floating. Oh, also, if you see where my hand is, you have cheat cards in this side for your commands. Oh, sweet. Oh. I want you stack. Okay. I I wouldn't worry too much about them stacking because they don't they don't stack very well. Oh, I can see your commands by the way. Yeah, I think you re stole this ship when you fixed it. Because oh. you didn't see my other commands, did you? For the other one. Yeah. No. Okay, well, you want to just... Yeah, I'll respawn it again. Okay, let me delete this. I'm having so much fun. Okay, you're good. Uh, the good news is it would be another 30, 40 minutes before we started if I hadn't come in here and reset, set up the tutorial play and saved it. All right, Will, are you ready? Oh, I my rotation degrees were sent to 60 oh, at the okay. top. That's why it was gotcha. doing it. Gotcha. Uh, two seconds. I just got to set my other command token. Yeah. So it's, yeah, you've got two and one. Two and one. Okay. Now let me. It's one. So each ship must have a number of command dials assigned to it equal to its command value. Okay, now did the one thing is, did you understand about command dials and command tokens? Um, as far as command dials, you do one per turn, and it tells you what you're doing. Well, no, it's it's if I'm understanding correctly, it's when you turn over a command dial, you can leave it as a dial and you get to use it this round. Or you can turn it into a command token, which means it sits with the ship. It's less powerful, but you can use it in any any future round. Gotcha. Yeah, and and by round I mean like the six rounds that the game takes place in. So you could like you could put a repair command token out there, command dial out there right now, turn it into a token. It's less powerful, but it means you can use it. You have you already have it later in the game, to use. Gotcha. Um, I deleted one of my evade token. Well, don't you have three sitting there? Yeah, but I can't split them. Just right-click split. Does that work? No. I think because you're in charge. Thank you. Okay, so I can safely delete this one. It's weird it lets me delete things, but not... I did I did promote you, but you're not a host. Yeah, but okay. these other ones stay stacked together, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to separate them all. Well, no, but you you should have one one of each. I know, but I, I 
But what I'm saying is they flip over together, so it's not like I'm no, no, we gotta suddenly be having to. We gotta be pretty. Okay. Good, 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 good. Um, and then these guys, basically, you can flip them to say that you've used them, and then they'll flip back over at the end of the round. Or you can still use them while they're flipped on the red side. But you just gets deleted. Yeah, you lose them for the rest of the game. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? I think so. I love your stack command tokens. <laughs> or uh, yeah. dials. Okay, so They're first floating. of all, uh, ships are activated. Wait, sorry. I'm coming over here. Ship phase. Player take turns activating one of their unactivated ships proceeding through the following steps. So you're going to activate one of your ships by revealing a command dial. Um performing up to two attacks from different hull zones if you want to, and then executing a maneuver, which is to move at the ship's current speed. So first of all is flip the, uh, it says top command dial, but I think it's bottom, right? Uh, it is top, it's top. top it's top bottom. for you, I think. Oh no, it's top for everyone. I, I, it was in the rules. No, no, it, it is, but I don't know if Tabletop Simulator did that properly. That's the thing. Um, so I, I say just flip one of them, and if it's the correct one, we move forward. If not, then switch them. Uh, mine sh should be... Should be the other one. No, I, maybe I put it in... I think I put it in the wrong order, but that's fine with me. Uh, mine's uh, concentrate. Okay, so now you have to choose... Do you want to keep that and use it this round... Or do you want to spend it and gain a command token, which means you can use it in subsequent rounds? Oh, I guess I'll... Concentrate, I'm assuming, is shooting at you. Well, it, you have the, the cards on the table that tell you yeah, what they are. I'm trying to look at it. Try to find deck one die. Oh, I see. Um, I am going to save it for later. Okay. So the thing is, you, you can spend the command token during the same round. The only thing is you can't have more than one of the same command token type on the ship. Gotcha. Yeah. So I'm so what do, I, what do I do with this? Put it back into my pool? Well, you can just delete it. Oh, just, right. just hover over it and hit delete. And then where do I get the token from over here? Yeah, it's over here. No, no, it goes yeah. next to your shh. Well, actually, yeah, you can put it on your card. Yeah, I was going to put it next. I think it's going to be crowded in the space. Okay, so that is one of yours. So now it's my turn. So I am going to... Let's see if it's this one. Yes, okay, that's good. This is a squadron one. Yeah, so I think I, I just put mine in the wrong order. So I get to move... A squadron. Activate a number of squadrons equal to my squadron value. And they have to be at close, medium range. So, just to go through the motions. My range is... It means they have to be within the first two. And they are. And I get to activate up to my squadron value. Which is three. So I get to activate up to three. And then I get to move and attack them. Okay, so I'm going to choose... Actually, let me, do I have all of these? Yeah, I can do all of them, or any of them, really. Yeah, I assume it, if it's touching, at least. Yeah. So this guy is going to move out here. And I'm done with him. So he has moved. I'm not going to tag him, because it's like an extra move. It basically doesn't, you know what I mean? I would only mm -hmm. tag him if I move him during the the squadron section. This is like an extra squad movement. That's two. And then I'll move this guy. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. This does look cool. Okay, that's my turn. Sweet. Yeah. So we are going to continue to do... Yeah, I did reveal command dial. I'm not going to attack because I can't be anywhere near. I'm not in attack move. 
Oh, we get to do, I'm sorry, maneuver. So you get to maneuver that ship that you did the command dial with. Yeah. I wasn't sure if we were doing each step one at a time. I think, I think it's, yeah. When you activate, you do command dial, attack, ex move. So it's like command, attack, move. So your speed is two. Which one is that? So you, your two means you can turn once on both your first and second legs. That makes sense. Is this? That's speed. Right, right. That's I'm saying turning. this This is one, right? That's, that's one. And then this is two. Yes. And so for each of those, actually, it, yeah, no, it has the, yeah, I, I know it has that. the roller. It has, it's just weird that the first time you click it, it does a blank one. Although that's not, that ruler is not accurate, though. Just to let you know. Because when you were down at one, it showed two, but it's actually just one move, one turn. And then you hit move to be done. Yep. And then done. Doop. Moved. Okay, so let me move my guy. He's going to move. Actually, let me check my turning real quick. Okay. He's going to move two, two, Okay. Move. Oh, uh, so I don't know if so you see what happened. You're not allowed to overlap yeah. with your ruler. So I have to undo and I have to do it from the other side. Oh, I thought you just had to move the ship to the other side. No, because then that would be moving your ship to the other side. Okay, so that is my turn. Now it's back to your turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then. So, command dial, pick a ship, command dial, attack, move. Um. Wait. So why is it going back to command dial? Because because now you're picking a new ship, you're revealing one command dial for that ship. You're attacking, and then you're moving. Oh, activating one of their unactivated ships. Sorry, I wasn't sure if it yeah. went to squadron phase next. So after we finish activating all the ships, then it goes to squadron phase? Yes, that's right. Okay. So I can... Command dial is choosing one of these ones that have already been played? No, it's, it's, one, then, it's on your ship. That's what I'm saying. It's not until the next round that we pick command dials again. Yeah, that's right. What, what I need to look up, though, is it sounds like I can only move my... Like, if you activate a ship, then... Oh, okay. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So take your turn. So I think you have to pick the other ship because it hasn't been picked yet. Right. Which my other ship is a maneuver or uh, whatever it's called. Is it called maneuver? Oh, uh, or is yeah, that squadron? No, it's squadron. Sorry. So, so, hi, Scoop Dog. Can't What's sleep. Up? Scoop, Scoop Man, it's dogs. like it's one a.m. There. Y'all crazy? That's pretty late. Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move your command token. This is what we're supposed to do. So that means it's been activated this turn already. Gotcha. So I should put the other one. I deleted okay. it. So I'll just grab it. Yeah, same here. Um, so that's so I put three command tokens on one of mine, which means I have to. I basically planned three rounds ahead. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Oh well. Okay. Um, oh, British summertime. Sorry, I'm I'm so used to knowing UTC for work because all the British server summertime. code is UTC. I forget that British summertime exists. Yeah, we've got daylight savings as well. Um, okay, uh, so I'm Squadron, which is activating 
one squadron, right? Because this is Corvette A, and it says one yeah. on the thing. And it has to be within close to medium range of your ship. Close to medium range of my ship, which is the big R. Those are in close to medium range. Yep. And so I'm going to move. It's just move one, right? Yeah, so you click move, drag it, and then Actually, hit done. I'm going to move. Can you move your hand? Can I move right here? I hate you. You know, this whole game, I've been thinking of doing that to you, and I was like, oh, I won't do that to him. I won't do that. Best part was I did it to you. Unfortunately. <laughs> Completely. Okay, so he's moved. Okay, and then you're not going to attack because you don't really have anything in range, but now you get to move your ship. Oh, right. I get to move this big boy. Do I, I have to or I don't have to? I think you have to. Let me, let me check. You must execute a maneuver. Oops. Oh, what's my movement on this? Two, which is... A one. Oh, that's a good move. Um, Scoop Dog, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna look it up real quick what year this game came out. Uh, I think... Well, what's your guess, Will? I'm going to go 2017. I'm going to say... 2016. I'm going to... Oh go 2015 ooh I win um oh I'm so, gonna have to do this from the other side aren't I yeah I'm stupid yeah. It, yeah the funny thing is that's not a tabletop simulator rule that's a real rule right I, I, I remember reading it move done good Good. Okay, so now everything's been activated. So now we go to squadron phase. The players take turns activating two of their unactivated squadrons one at a time. Um, so basically I'll activate one. Well, I guess it's my... Well, Do you have to turn these guys red? No, because, because they moved as part of a squadron movement. So gotcha. I, I don't... I don't think they, oh, I can look right. it up real quick. I don't think they activate as part of a squadron. That would make sense. Um, the ship chooses and activates. Um, okay, so this makes it sound like it does activate, but let me go back to squad. That sounds, so basically you're doing it out of, order that's what i assumed it was let me check let me check thing over here says activate a number of squadrons yeah they were not activated by a command okay so <clears throat> so go ahead and activate the ones that were activated boom so now you are going to um during this i'm going to look up turn order real quick because i don't know if it resets when we go to a new phase because technically it's my turn now, but you're, you have initiative. If that makes sense. You got a big old ship. Oh, it's, it's ship phase and squadron phase. So you get to go first. Sweet. So you get to pick um, two. I think, I believe squadrons. it. Squadrons. Wait, why do I get to pick two? Just explain that to me. I think because that's what it says. That's just what it says, right? No, it's not for any rule. Uh, yeah, after the wait, after the squadron, so you pick one squadron, you pick an unactivated squadron and activate it. After that squadron finishes its activation, the player must activate a second unactivated squadron if able. Gotcha. So you do too. And I was just making sure it wasn't a card thing, it was rules. Yeah, it's rules. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna rotate these so they look cooler. You good? Uh, I'm just moving both of them. That's fine, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Rick. Yeah, as long as you do them like, one after the other, you're good. Yeah, I'm constantly afraid I'm going to break this entire game. Oh, you know what? I should probably. I'm gonna save this real quick. You good? Uh, and, then, and then make sure um, to activate them. 
activate them both. Cool. All good. Okay. I am going to save this real quick. I'm going to call this <clears throat> T1 Squadron. Oh, no, I'll call this R1 for round one. I think if I move this... Oh, this is good. I can put chat in this game and it doesn't disappear. Nice. Okay, all right. So now I am going to move my goobers so I can move two of this guy. Oops. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, so what's the next phase? Uh, no, now you need to, do you have any more squadrons? To activate? Um, one of squad. Yeah, yeah I have, have one a, more, but yeah, I thought it was only no. two. No, it's two at a time. Two at a time. Yeah. No, it said activating two of their unactivated squadrons one at a time. No, I know, but then Whereas, we go back. I'm pretty sure we go. I can look at the rules, but we go back and forth. Oh. This process continues until all squadrons are activated. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sound effects in this game would be good. Oops. Done. Okay. Good. Activated. Okay, now I get to go. Move him all the way up here. Done. He's activated. Now we go to the status phase. Status phase is ready defense tokens. We didn't flip any, so we're good. Ready upgrade cards. We don't have any upgrade cards. Flip the initiative token. And then it's now round two. I have the initiative. And then I guess Yikes. we also unactivate all of our ships and clear command tokens. Boop. Okay. So now... These ones I just delete, right? Yeah, you just delete. So you're going to be adding two command tokens because you need to get up to the maximum value for each ship. I'm only going to be adding one because I need to get the maximum value for my ship. And I'm adding it on top of the other one? Or underneath? Uh, just drag it on top. I, I, I don't really care if the order gets out of order because we can just fix it. That's That's like Tabletop Simulator shenanigans oh i think it added it to the underneath it's okay i mean i think just but flip it, it and if it's out of order but it should be because I, I i should be doing the second one that i did last turn right well i it doesn't matter i don't think it's not worth worrying about it just when you flip it make sure it's the correct order that's no I, i'm not asking because i'm i'm concerned about it. i'm asking because that's the rules yeah the rules are the order you place them down you have to play them yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can just check as we flip them. Okay, so I am I have to pick one. Man, this is... So I'm three ahead, basically. Man, that's, that's pretty cool, though. Okay, all right. I am good. Let me check and make sure there's nothing else for this phase. Okay. I've got three on mine. You got three on yours? Yes. I mean, two and one? Yeah. Okay. So now we take turns activating one of your unactivated ships proceeding through the following steps. So I get to go first because I have initiative order now. So I'm going to reveal command dial. Let's see if this does this right. Hey, I did it right. Okay. So this is squadron. So now I'm going to check which ones are in range, and then I'm going to move three of them. So they're all within range. Cool. So this guy is going to move. This guy. going to move 
And then, man, the TIE Fighter's got some range on. Yeah, he's got like, I think, 33% more range than you. That's crazy. Okay, that's it for... Oh, no, now I get to maneuver. Maneuver. Speed two. And I get to go straight and then one turn. Oh boy. Yeah, rules are always a pain. Whoops, I'm doing it wrong. There we go, that looks better. Sorry, I'm just checking something real quick. Okay, let's do it. Move. Okay, that's my turn. Sweet. Your turn. Uh, I'm going to do the little Corvette ship. And F to flip, and it's squadron. And squadron is, if I remember correctly, activate a number of squadrons to close medium range. Equal to, sorry, to the... Uh, Equal to your squadron value, which I believe is one on this ship. Yes. I'm going to activate this little guy. He's going to go over here. And I'm going to rotate him. And hit done. And then I put this on this. To show that I've activated it, and then I move, right? Uh -huh. Perfect. Excuse me. Got the burpers. No, oh, son of a... I, can't, I hit done instead of... Move. There we go. Cool. Now I'm... Okay. Boom. That's your turn. Now I go, but I don't have any command dials. So now I believe it goes back to you. Awesome. I'm going to flip this one. Let me let me double check something is... real quick. Go for it. This one um... is navigate. Change your speed by one. Temporarily increase one yaw value by one. Yeah, so I pass, and then you keep going. And you have to go until you activate all your ships. So, yeah. Uh, how do I increase my speed on this dial here? You have to play the navigate command token, command dial. I did. Oh, oh well, then just hover over it and press the button, either one or three. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Three, and then I get to also increase... Uh, sorry. I get to also increase one of my yaw values by one. Yeah. So I am going to hit move. Three. That's correct, right? Yep. Yeah. Straight one, two for right now. But you can increase one of the yaw values by one. Um, move. And done. Good. Good. Okay. Good so angle. that is command phase. So now we go to squadron phase. So now it's my turn because I have initiative. And I'm going to activate two squadrons. Hi, Karen. Karen wants to play this, I can tell. Ugh, I just... It's $100 for the base game, kind of like X-Wing, and then you just have to spend for each and every little icon you want. That's Karen, you were saying this game was on sale? It was half off two weeks ago? 
Uh, I, still, I still don't think it's worth it. Oh, you're talking about Tabletop Simulator. I thought she was talking about Armada. What were you doing your eyes still about? Armada or Tabletop? Oh, you know what? Shoot. I wasn't supposed to move that guy. I... Uh, Okay, okay that's my so turn. now I move two? Yeah, you move two. <laughs> Bam. Good. Good? Okay. Yep. Okay, that's mine. Boom. Okay. All right, so now that is the squadron phase. So now we refresh. So flip your defense tokens, ready your upgrade cards, flip the initiative, put it on round three. And uh, clear your command dials and clear your activations. There we go. Okay. Now I get to add one command dial, you get to add two command dials. Tis true. <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's cool. It it does auto put it on the bottom. Yeah. I like that. Okay, I think I'm good. You good? Uh yes. Okay. I put so down two you clean. get to go first. Awesome. Uh first things first. Uh is this guy which is navigate. Uh -huh. Means I put it all the way freaking over. Here. Um, sorry, on this one, but I, instead of doing it, instead of using it, I can get a token for it, right? Yeah. Okay. And so you put the token next to the card. Awesome. And then the tokens I can use whenever? Uh, yeah, I believe so, but you notice they have a penalty. Like the navigate token is only speed change. Yeah. The. Um, let me just the double token. check that, yeah. but I'm pretty sure. I think you use it when it's relevant, maybe. Right. I, I can't remember from rules that's, that's or from my reading. That's why I'm asking. Um, so navigate. Yeah, when you determine your course is when you can spend the navigate command token. Gotcha. So now I move. Yes. Wait, did you do three? Oh, sorry. I thought you were on the other guy. You're fine. Done. And then that's my turn. Okay. So I am going to do this guy. That is a concentrate fire. So I am going to... Well, let me... I'm going to keep it so yeah so the way i think this works is because i'm keeping it as a command dial i have to try to spend it this turn and if i can't then i lose it whereas if i oh, keep the... it as a token then i get to keep it gotcha. does that make sense yeah let me just um let me double check that real quick no worries for the rest of your days. I want to get copyright stricken if I keep singing. Oh, no, no. It's So after a ship finishes its activation, if it did not spend its command dial, 
that dial is discarded. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna keep it there because I think I may be able to use it. What is concentrate fire again? Let me check. Uh, add one attack die of any color that is already in the attack pool. Okay, so I, I added that. I'm now going to move. I have an a two, two, one, two, and I can turn. So now I'm going to move. Now I'm going to check my range. First, I'm going to done this. Then I'm going to check my range. Uh, not within range. Okay, so because I didn't get to use this guy, it gets deleted. Or, well, sorry, I should have put that on my car. Okay, I'm good. Okay, that. so now I activate this old boy. Yep. Who I, if I remember correctly, is a good old squadron. So I'm going to select one squadron. Delete you. And it done so. Good. Uh, yes. So now we are in the squadron phase. So you go first in picking two squadrons. Oh, you got to activate your goober. Yeah. Come on. One. Two. Okay. Your turn. All right. So I am going to... Ooh. Move him there. And I'm going to attack with him. <gasps> attack dun, that guy. Dun, dun. So my value is three blue die. Do you know how to check that on the card? So if you look at your card, um, there's the four values across the top. The one that has like a blue outline and there's like three shots being fired. Mm -hmm. It's third from the left. That is against the squadron. Gotcha. Um, I have a swarm ability, which says while attacking a squadron engaged with another squadron, you may reroll one die, but that's not applicable here because you're not, you're only engaged with me. Um, and do you know about engagement? Uh, no. So engagement means if you are within, um, it it's only applies to squadrons. But basically what it means is while a squadron is at distance one of an enemy squadron, those squadrons are engaged. Um, so distance one, this is where we would have to use the ruler. Mm -hmm. But basically if you look at this guy, so you're within that range. And then if I rotate it, this guy's within that range as well because it's touching. The line is right here. Gotcha. So both of your guys are engaged with me. While engaged, when an engaged squadron attacks, it must attack a squadron instead of attacking a ship, and an engaged squadron cannot move. So basically your two guys, the only thing they can do is attack my squadron. They're not allowed to move. Okay. And I have a thing that says squadrons you're engaged with cannot attack squadrons that lack escort unless performing a counterattack. Oh, squadrons that attack it. Lack escort. Oh, but that won't apply because you only have X-Wings and they, they have escort. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to attack. So I get to roll three blue die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack this guy. This guy closest this to you. Yeah. So I'm going to pull one, two, three, and then I'm going to roll them. Yeah. That is three hits. Dang. Wasn't much of a roll. Two, three. Okay. So now these deleted. That guy was activated. That was one squadron goober. Um 
Now I'm going to activate this guy. And he's going to come right here. And he's going to attack. Well, let me make sure I'm within range. Whew, just barely. He's going to attack your ship. Now my ship attack is one blue die. Ooh, so that means that means when you assign damage, if you have to assign damage, I get to pick one of your defense cards that you get that you can't use. Gotcha. It's it's really weird. It's basically like if you're going to take damage, I get to prevent you from countering some of it. Um but that's not applicable here because you're not going to take damage at all. Gotcha. Okay, and that guy's activated. That's my turn. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, we're on the two goobers right now, right? Mm-hmm. So I've got this guy. Ooh. Eh. Um... Do I... I can't move, check, attack, and then move again, right? Uh, I'm going to say no, just because I think in the real game you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. I feel like I'm not going to be able to hit you there. Oh, that's pretty... Oh, maybe not. Pretty close. Uh, oh, just no. outside. Good news is that means I'm outside, too. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. all I can do. You're good. Okay, so now I'm going to move two of my guys. Um... Actually, you know what? Let me. I'm going to check something real quick. Because when you're attacking ships, I know ship to ship, I have to declare which side of your ship I'm hitting. Mm -hmm. But but let me check. Oh, yeah. A squadron can attack either one enemy squadron or one hull zone. So I, I can declare which what I'm attacking, as long as my attack icon touches it. Gotcha. So I'm going to attack your side, your left hull zone. My left hole is it. Yeah, so that's here. Copy you. And I'm going to roll one blue die. So uh, not, I'm not saying I'm going to, but uh, these like... Oh, no. Uh, oh, dang what'd it. What'd you do? I threw the die all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, like evade and these things. When yes. do I say I use those? So that is... Yeah. Um, One second, let me go to the page. So attacking is... We target, we do attack dice, and then after attack dice are rolled and the attacker spends his accuracy tokens. So let's say I I roll my attack dice, you're given three damage, and then I decide that I'm going to use my one accuracy token to like not let you use your redirect. Gotcha. Then, then you get to spend one or more of your defense tokens. Gotcha. Um, there's some things you cannot spend any single defense token more than once per attack, and you cannot spend more than one defense token of each type per attack. So even though you have two evades, you can't spend both of them in the same defense maneuver. Copy. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm just reading. For each accuracy icon rolled, the attacker chooses one of the defender's defense tokens. The chosen token cannot be used during this attack. Yeah, so it's basically useless if I'm a squadron rolling it. So that was one guy that moved. I'm going to activate him. Now I'm going to move. He didn't hit, I'm assuming? No, he didn't hit. He rolled accuracy. Okay. Got it. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, now this guy is going to move. He's going to move. Ooh, wait, let me, I got to undo him so I can look better. He's going to move. Oh, I really want to hit the. Well, actually, well, I can't. And you and the other rulers were not allowed to bring the ruler out, which I totally cheated at when we played X Wing. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, like wait, what did you do? Uh, in X Wing, like while we were trying to decide our maneuvers, I kept bringing the ruler out and being like, "No, that's not far enough. Let me try this. Okay, that's good." And then I would set my <laughs> commands, <laughs> and then we looked it up in the rule book, and you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> okay, always... so I'm just. Yeah, so I'm just saying we're not doing that in this one either. Okay, so let me... Okay. Let me just check. 
Check what? I was joking. How dare you? Um, okay, I'm going to move this guy here. No, sorry. I'm going to move him. <laughs> I can't. I can't overlap, but I can do that. Move him there. And he's going to attack the left side of your ship. So I get to roll one blue die. That's a hit. Yeah. So your shield goes down to zero. Unless I evade, right? Oh, but I can't because it's close range. That's right, yeah. You can't evade if it's close range. Um, How does one... I think if you just hover over it and hit the number, right? I hit zero, it doesn't do anything. Oh. Oh, I guess nine. That makes perfect sense. I think zero may be some other thing. Probably. Okay. Okay, that is... I'm done. Okay, your turn. Uh, I don't think I have anything left. Oh, you don't have any squadrons left. That's right. Okay, so now I'm going to... So, uh, no. yeah. But the concentrate, like, the stuff I have... Yes. Like... You can use those. So navigate you use whenever you're moving the ship. You can spend that token to add one to your Oh, speed. and add one tech. Oh, so they're just... Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, this makes more sense. And, it's, and they're tokens, and you can spend them later because they're slightly less powerful. Like you're gotcha. storing up commands for later. Okay, so I get to move my last two guys, but I think I'm going to... I'm... Going to move that guy. He's activated. And then I'm going to move this guy. Oh, so something else to say is you don't have to worry as much about hitting your own squadrons because they'll just get rearranged around you, but hitting ship to ship does cause damage. Yeah, I saw that. It's like take deflection damage or collision damage. That's what. Yeah. Okay, so that's my turn. So now we go to status phase, right? Correct. Okay, so this gets deleted. Okay. I'm going to flip this to four. Oh, I should talk about how to win the game. Uh, so to win the game, let me just look it up in the rule book to make sure. The game ends after six rounds. The players determine their scores, and the player with the highest score wins. Um, if all ships in a fleet are destroyed, ignoring squadrons, the game immediately ends. If fleets are destroyed at the same time, this player with the highest score wins. I'm going to look up scoring. Scoring is a destroyed ship's fleet point cost includes the cost of all upgrade cards. It's basically total fleet point cost of destroyed enemy ships and squadrons. And I think the fleet point cost is... Well, I don't know. We can look that up later. Oh, this no, I see. Armada spawner. A HAL 9000. I don't know. So the bottom right of your card is your points so if like if my tie fighter squadron is worth eight points and my star destroyer is worth 85 points my x-wings are worth b they're worth 13 i know <laughs> it really looks like a b though <laughs> so that's how we do scoring basically at the end of round six so we're halfway is through there a reason, is there a reason everything's so low res in this i think because there's like scan. the scanning yeah it's it's the scanning because think about it, these are probably tiny cards. I, I, they're either normal size cards or the they're the Twilight Imperium size cards. I bet you could get a better scan. But... Um. Okay. Yeah. Right, so, my senator. So did you do your command dials? Yes. I have not yet. Sorry. That's okay. I just have to add one. I'm just hanging out with my X wings. I'm just sitting in them. Makes me oh, it looks like a oh, it looks like I'm playing a video game. If you go behind one of your X wings and you, you pretend like you're flying it. <laughs> oh no! Wait, good. now I want to do that. <laughs> oh, that does. It looks look like I'm playing Rogue Squadron. 
That's pretty good. And we should play some Rose. You see that uh, Star Wars uh, racer yeah. game? It's May only 12. coming out. It's only coming out on PS4 and Switch. Yeah, that's crazy. But it's just a port as well. Like I don't think they're actually. Super no, I don't HD think that. But anything. it's just such a weird, random thing. I kind of want to pull out the the pedal and wheel and see if I can get it working in, on oh, uh, that'd be on awesome. the PC version. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm not paying attention here. No, you aren't. Okay, I am going to. Okay, all right. I think we successfully put Scoop Dog to sleep. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> At least we did something successful this stream. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. So now okay. we go first, to right? ship face. Yes, so I'm going to reveal. It's a concentrate fire. Wow. I'm going to... Sorry, I'm trying to close my chat window. Oh, well, who cares? I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to move my goober. Which side do you think? I think I need this side. Okay, he's going to move one, two. And then, yeah, that's all I can do. He's going to move. Oh, no. Oh, thank God that's covered. I switched to global chat. It's not safe in there. Oh. But my window is covering it. Okay. I just Let's move. I'm gonna do range. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Yes. Huh? Can I help you? I I don't think I ever moved this guy last round, but that's. Oh yeah, that's that's your problem, buddy. <laughs> Too late. Okay. I'm so... trying to think of what what my power on it was. I know. Maybe you. It was a. No, maybe you didn't. I think it was a two. Yeah, I didn't. Well, unless you moved this guy twice. That would be funny. Anyways, okay, so let me just check turn order here real quick. Um, I'm going to attack. I can perform up to two attacks from different hull zones. Well, I mean, there's only one hull zone within range of your ship. So the way this works is um, I look at the ruler. The ruler tells me that red is the only thing that I can fire at range three. So I look at my whole zone one and I can roll three dice. I'm also going to use my concentrate fire, which lets me add one attack die of any color that is already in the attack pool. I, I wanna look at what these, I wanna know what the difference between these colors are. Sorry, I'm just trying to like, these are different, right? Like what are the different? The these like the blue is all it's all hits and then one or two concentrates. The black is some misses. The red is some misses. Yeah. Because I get to add. I'm gonna do three red, and yeah. then I get to do one of any color. So I'm gonna do a, a blue. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to roll these die. Dice. Roll these dice. I'm shooting at your left hull zone. That is six hits and a crit. Gee. <laughs> Wait, let me let me uh, double check the crit to make sure I'm looking at that right. Uh, a critical... The defender suffers one damage, and the first damage card dealt is face up. Okay, so I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six damage to you. Um, but you get to you get to use any tokens you would like. I believe uh, that's I'm gonna order. I'm gonna brace. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait. So let me do attack resolution. I declare my target. I roll my attack dice. I resolve attack effects, which is to spend the accuracy tokens. I didn't get any. You spend your defense tokens. Okay. So I'm so going to brace. You're going to brace. When damage is total, reduce the total damage to half. Round it up. So it's three damage. And then the resolve damage 
uh, the defender suffers damage equal to the number of hit icons. If both the attacker and the defender are ships, the number of blank icons is added to the damage total. Oh, okay, critical hit total. Okay, so the first thing first is you get three damage. The first, the damage cards are just like damage markers, but because I got a critical, one of them gets dealt face up, which means its yeah. effect is now positive. So, so I grab three of these? No, no, I get to grab them because it makes me feel good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what does that say? Life support failure. Discard all command tokens. You may not have any command tokens. Oh. Bye-bye. Oh, command tokens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Holy. So you now have three damage on this ship, and your your total hull value is five. Yeah. Okay. So that is... I think that's my turn for this guy. Wait. Let me save. You got to... Oh, you moved already. Yeah, let me save. I'm going to save this. What is this? This is round four um this is what is this called activation okay we're good okay um your turn okay i'm gonna do this guy which i believe is concentrate fire uh -huh. um you are in range. Which uh, which hull zone are you aiming for? Uh, I was going to aim for the front hull zone. Okay. The bow, if you will. And you're firing from... Well, you have to fire from the left side. Yeah. So you get to roll one red die, because only the red is at range. And then you get to add a die of any color, because... Um, I'm going to delete these. Because you have concentrate fire. Might as well add a blue, because that's kind of... Yeah, good. I think blues have no blank sides. So red, and then... Come. Although it's weird, the, the black is... The black has blanks, but the black is close range. It's kind of weird. Is that three? So that's three hit. <sighs> okay, wait, sorry. <sighs> I have two redirects and a brace. A redirect says, choose one whole zone adjacent to the defending zone. You may suffer any amount of damage <clears throat> before... Okay, so I'm going to do a redirect. I get to choose multiple tokens, right? Let me check. Spend one or more of their defense tokens. So that would be a... And then a... What's a... Brace is round... Is half round up. Half round up. So that would take it to two. And then it would be a one, one. Yeah, I might as well spend it. So I'm going to do a brace and a redirect. So this becomes... So I'm taking one here, and I'm going to take one on this side because the redirect lets me move it around. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And then I get to move. I think my speed... Is, oh, what? What? What's that? No. Oh, my... I got to zoom in. Two, three. Um, so go ahead and finish your move, and then I have something to say. <laughs> what is it? No, no, you go ahead and finish. Wait, what? Do that. Ooh, okay. let me look up real quick how to resolve the squadron stuff. I think it's... Uh, okay, overlapping squadrons. The player who is not moving the ship places all of the overlap squadrons. So I get to move this where I want it, basically. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm, I get to put it over here. Well, no, I don't want that. I want it to go... Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, it just it has to touch the side of the ship. Uh, that's, I mean, that's close enough for me. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, okay, so I cheated. I didn't realize you have to attack before you move. Oh. Actually, let me double check that. Because that that would that would mean you take no damage. Do you want to do that or do you want to cut it in half? Completely up to you. Wait, what do you mean cut it in half? Because I moved into range and then attacked. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, we can just cut it in half then. Okay, so I think it was three total. So let's just take away these two. Or no, wait, I did six, but you rounded down to three. Right? Yeah. And your shield was already gone, so I'll just... I'll but just... you know what? I was going to say, instead of, I just say I didn't spend a brace. I, I say you didn't spend the brace and these two go away. Okay. Because, I, I mean, you really shouldn't take any damage at all. But, yeah. But then neither should... I mean, maybe you would have still taken damage, but I don't think you would have moved if you wouldn't have been able to attack. Oh, that's right, and yeah. Well, I would have had to move. Oh, that's true. So, either way, okay. So that's your ship. I already went. So now it's um, your this second ship. ship's turn. Yeah. Which I think is concentrate fire, which is stupid. I'm just, uh, to look I'm just gonna turn that into a token. Yeah, it's following steps in order. Command dial, attack, and then maneuver. Which is kind of interesting. Prevents you from doing hit and runs, basically. Because you have to be in that position for a majority of the time. Yeah. Okay, so now I get to move. Which my move speed on this guy is still two. Well, actually, no. It, it makes you do hit and run. It doesn't let you do run and hit. Right. I don't know. I'm just curious to... I don't think it's a bad decision. I'm just... I'd be curious to hear why they designed it like that instead of the opposite. I don't... I think that's fine. It doesn't look like it's overlapping. Yeah, I don't think it is. Good? Yes. Or no, wait. Do you want to fire at all? Um. Oh, I don't think anyone... Oh, my goodness! I was not expecting that. Um, sure. So you can Sorry, do I just you can do attacks from two different hull zones. Okay. So I'm gonna start by shooting this guy. Okay, so that is going to be a one blue die, which is at max range, so you can't even roll a die unless you want to spend your concentrate fire. One is blue it? die. Okay, so I won't do that then. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll attack this guy then, and that's what? That's a blue, which you can spend. Gotcha. Oh, and so sorry. max range. Yeah, max range is the the one red, and this concentrate fire is reroll one attack die because it's a token. Wait, how come I couldn't spend a red die on from this side? Because it's. Uh. No, because if you look at your card, sorry, if you look at your oh, card, oh, sorry. it says you can only attack. Let me let me double check that real quick. One blue. Oh, I. What do the ones on my actual figure mean? That's I, I think that's ship to ship. But I I can double check that. Because like on the side it shows, one red, one blue. Yeah, but that that's for ship. That's for ship to ship, I'm pretty sure. The, oh, like... like yeah, the, the squadron fight. icon on your card is, I think, you fighting against ships. Against squadrons. Your ship against a squadron. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to find it real quick to be sure of that. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm confused about. Yeah. So the the blue shots with the weird squiggles around it is what 
is to squadron, squadron and the other ones are ship yeah, to ship. Yeah, that's your, that's your anti-squadron attack dice. Attacking a squadron follows all the same rules for attacking a ship with the exceptions described below. Squadrons do not have whole zones. When attacking a squadron, the attacker uses the anti-squadron section of his card to determine his attack, day, uh, attack dice, which is the same for all whole zones. So basically, when your Corvette fires at squadrons, he's only rolling one blue die. And then my X-Wing squadron on that, the one red is, is against me ships. against ships. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that clicks now. See, that's, that's gotcha. why when I was rolling against your TIE fighters, I was rolling three blue. But when I was rolling yeah. against your ships, I was only rolling one blue. Okay, so to hit... This guy's in my medium range, which so you can is roll... a yeah. blue and a red... And I can roll a one blue to attack him, right? Yes. And then your concentrate fire token will let you re-roll that if you would like to. Okay. So I'm going to grab this blue. I'm going to shake it a bunch. And I'm going to drop it. One hit. And that's it. Do you want to re-roll it or no? No. Okay. Down to two. And then I, I just delete this. Yep. That was cool. your attack. So now you can... Wait, did you move and then attack him? Oh, yep, that's exactly just... what I did. <laughs> I really wish you could. I don't know if you should be able to reorder it. I and I only attack you. You said, "Hey, do you want to attack now?" I know, I know. I'm that's sorry. fine. I'm so used the... to like... Hey, but we understand the rules now. That's yes. the the benefit. <laughs> I'm so used to maneuver into position and then fire. You know what I was just saying? If Karen likes this game, we could do a three. You could do. I think this supports up to four people on Tabletop Simulator. Oh. So we can yeah, do Karen, crazy. Got to get tabletop simulator. And then the fleet point rules let you. Um, the fleet point rules let you basically build equal armies. So like you uh -oh. two could have two smaller armies, and I could have a bigger one, or we could do it any other way. Oh. Okay, so that was ship phase. Now it's squadron phase. I get to go first. Hi. Um. So. This guy, I just want to, I just want to show real quick who I'm, so he is definitely within range of these guys. So basically consider all three of these engaged. So these guys can only shoot each other. They can't even shoot. I can't even shoot this ship. I have to shoot you guys. Gotcha. And none of us can move. This guy, not within range. Cool. Cool. Oh, but he may be down here. That guy's engaged. Oh, boy. I don't think that guy's engaged. Yeah, that guy's not. Okay. And then the this guy's definitely engaged. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to start with this guy then. I'm going to move him. He's going to move here. And he's going to attack the left side. Dairy. Oh, you know what? Sorry. I do I sorry, I just squadron attacks. Yeah. Okay, so, so when a squadron performs an attack, it can target one enemy ship at distance one using the distance side of the distance ruler. Which I believe is this attack radius wait why does that attack radius smaller than i'm gonna assume that we're reading the rules wrong let's continue to use this attack radius yeah yeah um i just i'm just trying to figure out if i have to declare a whole zone Um, oh yeah, I do. I still, I still declare. Oh. oh no, squadrons do not have whole zones and therefore do not need to declare an attacking whole zone. Oh, wow. Oh. Wait, does that mean that you get to... Oh, I think it's squadron to squadron. I don't have to declare a whole zone. But I think ship to ship I can, right? Maybe. 
Um, attacking squadrons with a ship. No, that's different. Okay. Uh, to perform an attack, the player first chooses one of his ship's hull zones to attack from. Nope, that's fine. Okay, targeting. The defending hull zone must be inside the attacking hull zone's firing arc in addition. For example, a long-range ship can only... Okay, squadrons do not have hull zones and therefore do not need to declare an attacking hull zone. The attack dice that a squadron uses when attacking ships are printed on its squad. Oh, it's just saying that I, I don't have to declare which hull zone I'm attacking from. Uh, but I'm still targeting a hull zone. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense because otherwise it's like I would just give you damage and you'd have to put it somewhere. Yeah, to suffer a point of damage, the player reduces the shields and is defending hull zone by one. I don't see anything contrary, so I I can declare because I'm within range. I'm going to hit your left hull zone. Gotcha. Like I'm targeting that. Okay. So I'm going to roll one blue die. That's a hit. So one damage card for you. Thank you. Okay. Toggle that goober. Why does that look orange instead of red? Or it is orange. It really does. Are my other ones like that? I guess they are. No, I, I think it's just the light. So that's one squadron. So now I get to move another squadron. This guy was within range, right? Yeah. That's why he moved the other guy. He was engaged with this guy. Oh, are we going to get married? I, I was going to make that joke earlier. Um. Okay. Well, then I am going to... Actually, you know what? This guy is going to... Attack this guy. Wait, I'm very far away. Uh, this guy. This guy? Attacking this and guy. Attack that guy. Okay. I am Do going it, to... Destroy me. I think there may be a problem with the attack radius. Because look, we're not within attack radius range, but we're within one distance movement. So we can't attack each other, but we also can't move. Yeah, that's weird. What do you want to do about it? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Let's just let's consider this engagement distance. Attack distance and engagement distance are the same. Okay. So this guy's not engaged. Perfect. Okay. I've already committed to that attack, so I'm going to do it. Do it. That's a hit. How many? Just one. Dang. Okay, your turn. Okay, I'm going to activate this guy. Oh, He's shit, boy's in the house. He's going to attack this guy. Do it. Um, And I get four dice, four blue dice. Oh, you know what I just realized? What? I rolled too few dice last time, but it's okay. That's... One, two, three. He dead. Pew pew. Okay. I'm gonna move him over to your side. So you're you're winning the game right now. You've got the most points. Woo! Okay. Uh, I can move and attack. Oh! I may have just accidentally deleted that guy, don't worry. <laughs> I can uh, move and attack. I don't know, what does it say? It's, I don't know anymore. It may either move or attack. Uh, move or attack. Um, oh. We've been playing that wrong, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well. Well, it changes now. Okay. <laughs> this game is weird. It's like it really wants you to take it like very slow and plotting. I hate it so much. Okay. <laughs> so it's like anti-common sense. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, Good? that's two. Okay. I hate it. All right, my turn. <laughs> well, that guy already went. Yeah, don't freaking touch him. That guy can't attack, and he's also not engaged. <laughs> so let me at least... Congratulations. Thank you. What is that? <laughs> Why are you going there? We're engaged now. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay. Wait, what's your... What's your... What's your goober? <laughs> what are you buying? What are you goobering? <laughs> um... He wasn't engaged, right? No. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I just like thinking uh, in space, you just flew over <laughs> to be in front of me. <laughs> like football. <laughs> okay, Thanks. that's my turn. Did you not mark some of your guys? Oh, no, no. Sorry, you only moved two last time. Okay, your turn. Yeah. Okay, this guy's going to attack this guy. Do it. I get three, four blue dice. Two. Um, I don't think the crits do anything when you're attacking as a squadron. Okay. What are the yeah. what are the what are the circle thingies do again? That's um, you get to nullify one of my defense tokens. Oh, okay. So that's two so he or takes one. Two damage. Two damage. Okay, I'm good. And then I'm going to move this guy. Heck yeah, party boys. Party boys. Okay, good. Okay. Mm. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, party boys. <laughs> party boys. I hate party boys. Um... And then this guy. Oh no, you're still. I wonder if the flip the table button works for me. Don't do it. Come on now. <laughs> that reminds me, I should save. Uh... Oh no, wait, sorry. I... Oh no, I already moved. I committed to that. I'm good. Okay, so that's my squadron stuff. Uh, I'm done. You're done, right? I'm done. Status phase. Status phase. Okay. Status phase. I think I flipped some of your goobers. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to save real quick, so don't do anything. Not doing anything. Save. Wait. What round is this? Round five. Games. Oh Save. boy. It's round oh. five. Start. Create. Got it. Okay. We're getting there. Alright, command token time or command dial time. What are my current ones? I hate you. <laughs> Classic. Classic Ian Gibson. Uh, I think I'm good. Uh, okay. It's my turn to go first. Yeah, so command dial, attack, move. Okay, what's this guy? Oh, no. Where'd it go? Where'd it, what's it doing? Why, why are you going over here? Oh, oh, bring it back, bring it back. I can't, where is it? I can't see Just it. Just keep going, keep going towards the center. Now drop, drop. I, I think I've had that problem before as well, where like if you pick it up not directly on it, it won't follow your mouse. Like, like you were holding it, but you were separate from your yeah. mouse. Yeah. It's weird. Okay, squadron. That, what is that? Let me do again. Squadron lets you move 
up to your squadron First value. Medium. Or, I'm sorry, activate. And I think when they when they do that, don't they? Oh, and those squadrons can move and attack. Gotcha. But remember, so those guys, guys are engaged. Yeah, but I can attack still, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so this guy's going to attack him. Do it. Should just get these four dice out. Complete miss. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll put him over with you. And then this guy's going to move to here. You can't move. Oh, okay. I thought you were dropping him on top of me. <laughs> and then he's going to attack. Okay. That's Dang. <laughs> uh This guy got activated, right? Yeah. So okay. Uh, okay, and then it's but we, this ship. We are now engaged, though. So just to be clear, I can only attack your, your TIE fighter, your X-Wings for now with this guy. Um, this ship can attack, though, right? The big boy? No. It has to move. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, it has to attack and then move. <laughs> Stop confusing me. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to shoot, I guess, at the TIE. What what damage do I get at the TIE Fighter? That's, I guess. It's, it's one, right? Yeah, it's just one. One blue. Just one blue? Yeah. Or at, what about at that guy? At that guy, it's going to be one red because it's blue and red, red. But the distance is, yeah, the distance is red. Okay, so I'll do a... Actually, you know what? I'll do a red at your okay. ship on the uh, front. Okay. Front hull zone. Roll it over here. Oh. Wow, wow, viva. Nothing. Okay. okay, and now I get to move. Yep. What are my, what are my commands? Oh, hello there. <laughs> Shoshi. I'm still at three, right? Ooh. Uh, done. Okay. Okay. Good on you, lasagna. Your turn. So now I going to do minute or navigate. So my navigate says that I change your speed by one, temporarily increase one yaw value by one. I just want to look up real quick. Can I like, it's not that I'm not choosing not to move my speed. Increase or decrease its speed by one. I feel like I have to decrease my speed because that's the only direction I can go, right? Yes. Yeah. It's not in the rule book, but I think that makes sense. So I'm, I'm going to be on. one. Uh, I'm now going to, well, before I even move, I'm going to attack. So I'm going to check my range. Noise. I get to attack twice from separate hull zones. So first I'm gonna fire at this guy with my left hull zone, which is one blue die against squadrons. That's a hit, so this guy takes a hit. And then I'm going to attack this guy from my front hull zone. Still one blue die. Roll it, girl. That's a hit. Got okay, now I get to move. My speed is one, but because I have navigate, I can turn twice. That's not going to work. You didn't change your speed? Oh, you changed it to one. Yeah.
Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hi, boys. Okay, that's my turn. Cool, now it's my turn. Oh, baby. Oh, that's in range. Mm. Okay, so that's... What is it? All red die? So that's two red I can use? Two red. Yes, and you still have your concentrate fire, so you can re-roll one die if you would like. Re-roll? Re-roll. I'm going to re-roll this die. Okay. Blank, 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 blank. Oh. Okay, so that's against my front hole zone, so now that's a shield value of one. Okay, that's my turn. No, I'm sorry, that's isn't your turn. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Okay, uh, and now I get to move. Um, just to be clear, you can fire again if you'd like. Well, actually, if you show range, you just have to fire from a different hole zone. So if you show range, can you do that? No. It's all within the front hole zone. I forgot. I, I didn't actually show. It's navigate. Isn't it? Oh, okay. Um, so now you... Which I was going to up to three. Okay. And you get to increase your yaw by one on one of the pivots. Evie, oh, I see you. I saw that on the stream. What happened? What'd she do? She likes to get on the table that has the puzzle on it and just like bat the pieces off the table. Give me a second. I'm going to go beat my cat. Okay, don't tell Ian I deleted two of his fighters. Hi, baby boys, I'm back. Oh, good. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Just uh, coming to say hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Did you have to move any fighters? No. Okay, all right. Because it's kind of cool the way they do it. It's like if your ship causes any fighters, any squadrons to be moved, then the other person gets to move all of them. Yeah, like, I was there when we did it earlier. Ship. No, but I mean like... Even if your X-Wings had to move, I get to move them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you good? Yes, that is me. So I... Have you done both ships? You did both yes. ships, right? So now we're on to... Squadrons. Yes. Squadronos. So it's your turn to go first. With squ Sweet. Squadronos. Okay. Those guys have already been activated. Okay, so this guy is going to attack this guy who's directly in front of him. Okay. Where the back? Two, three, four. Try something oh, no. weird. Sorry, I'm not rolling. Come on. Right. Okay, here we go. Four hits. Four hits. Those, those are crits. Whoa, whoa. Th this guy? No, the other guy. Okay, so he's... Let me... This one. And, and then he's... this guy is going to attack the guy in front of him. Done so. For four dice. Eh. Two. Two hit. Okay. Um, You Hello? good? Yes. Okay. Now, it's move or attack. Got to remember that. Okay. So this guy is going to... Sorry, I'm just... This guy is going to attack this ship. And specifically, he's going to attack the left hull. Copy you. And he can do that with one blue... 
die. Woo! Cheapers. That's a hit. Wow. Okay. And a one. And then I'm gonna activate him. And then this guy is going to attack this ship, which should be within range. 